Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. I hope you're all well and safe after the recent storms that we have been having. Today's card is all about Rory and Barrick the Crow. For the background, I'm going to be using my 5x7 gel press and I'm going to be using Elements Graphite for my base layer on my gel press. I'm going to be using three brushes. Sunburst Lemon, Moss Green and Prussian Blue. For stamping with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne, Warm Breeze, Shady Lane, Rainforest and also Twilight. Posca pens, Ivy and a yellow one just to do some dots around the bottom. Elements Dala Blue just to blend around our moon. I'm also going to be using a Stardust glitter pen just to use on our moon and then use a brush just to give a gentle shimmer to it. A white gel pen just to do some highlights on Rory and Barrick. We're going to do some white heat embossing and for this I'm using WOW a Pague Bright White just to go around the edge of the card and then to finish it off just around the edges I'm going to be using some Fab Foil Silver. For the stamps I'm going to be using Creeping Vine, Barrick from the set of Three Crows, Rory, Orchard Grass Mini Leaf 5 and Sacred Spell Verse just to add some interest to the background. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using my gel press to make my background and I'm going to be using Elements Graphite as my base layer. So I'm just going to load this up onto my brayer and then my gel plate. So I'm just going to load this up and now I'm going to use my brush shows. So I'm going to be using some burst lemon first and I'm just going to take off the excess and then just tap this all over my gel press. So just taking off the excess because you only just want small little water droplets onto your gel press. So just take your time just flicking it or tapping it onto your gel press. And now I'm just going to use some green moss and again just tapping that over but each time I pick up the brush shows I'm just taking off the excess going back into my pot and just tapping that over. My last colour is going to be Prussian Blue so I'm just taking off the excess by just running my brush over the edge of the pot and then just tapping this randomly over my gel press. I have a piece of A5 card that I'm just going to place over my gel press and hopefully have that in the middle. Giving this a good rub, getting all of that brush hose to move around and then getting absorbed into my card. And then lifting it up and there's our background all ready to be used.
and then just give it a quick dry so that we can start doing our work on. So I've trimmed my card down, dried it and now placed it into my stamping platform. So I have my ground line in place and I'm going to be using some VersaFine Claire Warm Breeze. So using my stencil brush I'm just going to pick up this ink and then just blend it to make my ground line. So just gently blending this on for my ground. And then I'm just going to create a second hill. But I'm not going to pick up any ink. I'm just going to use what's already on my brush. Just so that we've got a gentle hill in the background. So I'm going to pick up Rory, pick up the creeping vine and just have him positioned in place. And then I've got Barrick. So I'm going to stamp Rory in Versifying Claire Nocturne. I'm just going to position this into place. And then I'm going to ink this up again in Versafine Claire Nocturne. This creeping vine doesn't go all the way across our card. So what we need to do is just position this into place, move it over, keeping your finger on the end of your stamp, lifting this up, then put in the copy paper so you're nearly at the end and then just popping that over and now we can stamp the rest of it up. So I'm going to use it again, stamping it up in Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink that up and then stamp it. And there we have it going across. Don't worry about this join because by the time that you've coloured this in brown, this would have all blended in. Going to be using Barrick, that's from the set of crows. So these are the small versions of the single big crows. And I'm just going to place him just so that his eyes are in the same direction as Rory. And again, I'm going to stamp that in Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink that up and then stamp, giving it a good press down. And there we have Rory and Barrick. Going to be using the Orchard Grass, and I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Shady Lane and rainforest and I've just placed a piece of copy of paper underneath my card blank. So I'm just going to ink it up in Shady Lane and then just stamp around the bottom. So just keep inking it up and just stamping and this will just create a bit of interest in the bottom of our card. So we're just going to use this shady lane which is a lighter green and we're just going to stamp this just randomly around the bottom of our card. Just building it up. And now I'm going to be using Rainforest. So again, just ink this stamp up 
and this is a darker green so now we can do some darker ones just building this up just taking our time stamping this and I think what do one up here and one down here then another one just there need to add the moon now so I'm going to be using the second size circle mask from Lavinia and I'm just going to place that in the middle just capturing part of Barrick and I'm going to be using Elements Dala Blue and with a blending brush just picking this ink up blending it onto my glass mat and all I'm going to do is just flick this out so I'm just going to keep building this up going around so just flicking it out just so that we get that nice grade of going from dark to light and then again down the bottom so I'm just using that ink that's on my glass mat and just keep flicking it picking ink up and just flicking it out and just taking your time building this up so just a bit more at the bottom and there we have our moon going to be using mini leaf 5 with rainforest and I'm just going to ink this up and then just stamp all the way round the edge of our card. So just taking time just to stamp this, turning your stamp around just so that you get different. So we just want to be twisting this stamp around. First of all, clear twilight and a smoothie and I'm now just going to blend around the edge of the card. So I'm just taking time just to blend all the way around the edge of the card. So with a bit of sunburst lemon on my glass mat, I'm now just going to do bit of highlights along the top and along the bottom of the tree trunk. So I'm just pushing that gently over the top just as a bit of highlight. With an Ivy Posca pen, I'm just going to get this pen started, I'm just going to do some little dots around the ground and now I'm going to use a yellow one just again just to create some little clusters of flowers with a white gel pen I'm just now going to just do a bit of highlight on Rory just around him so I'm just putting my gel pen on and then just smudging it in just so that we get that nice gentle highlight on him and then just a bit on his arm and then on his head and someone in his hair And then at his hand that is pointing up to Barrick. So we just want to keep this 
nice and gentle and soft. And then I'll just do a bit around his back and a bit on his leg. And then with Barrick, again, just doing a bit of highlighting because he is in front of the moon. So he will have a bit of highlights on it on him. So we just want to. Going to be adding a verse coming down now over our card, and I'm using Sacred Spell, and I'm using an old Versifying Claire ink pad because it's not that strong and it saves me having to do a second generation of ink. So now I'm just going to stamp this over the card. I'm just going to pop my mask back into place and now I'm just going to stamp this. And stamp this just all the way around the card. So I'm just going to take time and just stamp. And then on to the other side. I might just be able to get a bit more. In. and a bit more at the top with the creeping vine I'm going to be using this stamp that comes with it and I'm going to be using Versamark and some bright white embossing powder so before I start I'm just going to go over with my anti-static bag and just rubbing this all over my work ready for embossing with. So I'm just going to use my stamp on my Versamark and then just stamp it and then just taking time just to stamp around the edge of the card and now to use the bright white embossing powder so now I'm just going to flick this onto my card blank all over around the edge and then just tip this all up giving a flick to get the excess off Just going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne just to go around the very edge of our card. So I'm just using a smoothie and then just using this just to go around the very edge of the card. So just taking your time, just going around the edge, just building this all the way round. So we're just taking our time, just blending, going all the way round the edge. And then with a cloth, just buffing all of this up. So we're just getting this white embossing just to stand out. So 
So I'm just rubbing that down. Using a star dust jelly pen, I'm just going to use this on the moon. So I'm just quickly colouring this in and then with my brush and a bit of water I'm now just going to blend this all in to the moon. So just taking time just to blend this around and just also don't forget the bottom part as well. We'll just do around our moon. And I don't know if you can see this, but it gives a nice shimmer to the moon. And then just a dotting the stardust pen over the wings on Rory, just dotting them. Just so that it adds a bit of sparkle. Just going to use a black pencil just to do a bit of shadow from where Rory is standing. I'm going to do my last layer using my layer guide rulers and I'm going to do my last layer at an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to place this against where I want it to go and then just trim it down with my craft knife. So I'm just going to go round trimming this at an eighth of an inch just going all the way around trimming it to the size I want it oops take that bit away and then my last one to do it's going to go onto my card blank and I'm going to then just trim off the bottom of it here. Just going to do some finishing touches. So with my quickie glue pen, I'm just going to go around this creeping vine. Just going over where these little vines finishes. So just going over around them using my quickie glue pen. Just following where these are. And of course you can do some random ones as well. I'm just going to do a few coming up this top right corner, following this down and then just doing some in this bottom left corner just to add a bit of sparkle. You can always come down a bit more. I've left the quickie glue pen to dry and now it's time to go over with some foil and just rubbing this onto where we used our quickie glue pen. So with just rubbing it with a firm rub, just go over where you have used your quickie glue pen. So just taking time just to add it. So I'm just gently 
applying some I don't think I'll do that area so we're just building all of this up so the foiling's done now so you can see these little silver dots appearing when you move the card around and you can see the gentle shimmer on our moon that we used with the stardust pen. And that's the finished card. Thank you for watching me today. Please take care and I hopefully see you soon. Bye for now. Bye!